Greetings hobbyists, this is Arthur Sands of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can make hard ops even more efficient. So I'd argue that hard ops and box cutter are probably one of the most effective set of hard surface modelling add-ons that you can get for Blender, and while they are paid for, they are worth every penny. There is a link in the description of this video in, in the top right hand corner. If you do want to grab any of these, then they are affiliate links, which means you don't pay any extra and it supports the channel, and that would be really appreciated. But I was having a conversation with someone the other day, and they were asking, well, with all of the options that are there, if I press Q to bring up the menu, there are so many different tools that come with this, which is why it's so fantastic. Which are the most useful tools and where do you find them? Because obviously there's so many menus. Now I'm not gonna go into that element right now because really it depends what you're using Blender for and therefore what you need. But I did want to cover one thing, which is how to make finding some of these tools even more effective. Now, you'll notice at the bottom of your main menu when you press Q, there is an option that says Quick Favorites, which is a great way of speeding up how you need to find certain tools. For example, I very regularly use Smart Apply and Clean Mesh, so to stop me having to go into operations, I've got them down here. Similarly, I find Face Extract really useful, so I'm gonna add that as well. So all you do is you come to the tool that you want to add in, right click on it, and then click add to favorites. And now when you press Q, it will be in your favorite menu. Now what's good about these is they only show up when you're in a version that can use it. So for example, if I click here and then go to Q, Booleans and selection to Boolean and add that to my quick favorites, you'll notice that if I come here, Q quick favorites, it's not there because you can't use it when you're in object mode only when you're in edit mode can you use this. So now Q quick favorites, it'll be there. And you'll notice that the other options aren't there in this one because you can't use them in edit mode. So it's really effective. The other thing that they've been very smart about, and honestly, I love this. So if I just demonstrate this by going to face extract, selecting that face and then doing something like that, do you'll notice that when you press Q, the quick favorite menu has the shortcut of Q which is really clever and that's why I've got Smart Apply at the top because I use it so often. So I'd strongly suggest that you make Smart Apply the first one that you put on. But what that means is I can just press Q, Q and then enter and it will Smart Apply. So I can do that really fast when I need to because it's the first option there. Obviously the other ones are still quick to get to, but it is so useful when you're starting to apply Booleans to a lot of objects to just be able to hit QQ and then enter. I mean, it really speeds things up. Now the other one that I want to mention isn't specifically for just hard ops. If I say go to Q and I come to face extract, either there or in my quick favorites, when you right click on it, you also have the option to assign it a shortcut. Now, one word of caution, do be careful with this because you don't want to assign a shortcut to this that's already doing something else. So you can actually check this really quickly. If you go to edit preferences and you go to key maps just here, it's got the names, but if you click on key bindings, you can search for a particular key binding. So say for example, I want to make face extract something with F. If I just type in F here, it will show me all of the shortcuts that use F. And it tells you where they are. For example, in user interface, there's control F in property editor, there's control F and also alt F and so on. So it shows you where these are. And being in object mode, I can have a look. Is there anything in object mode here that's going to be a potential problem and there's nothing for control F that's going to be a problem or going to cause me any issues that I can see. All of them are in other tools or sub menus. So I'm going to close that, press Q, go to face extract, right click, assign shortcut, control and F and now you'll notice it one tells you it by the side in both places so it says what the shortcut is in case you've forgotten and now if I just press control and F I can use my face extract and QQ to smart apply because it's that quick now. So both those options combined really do speed up your use of hard ops and it does make things a lot easier to find. And I will say that say for example, you're working on something now and you want to add something in, it's very easy, say you're gonna use dice a lot to add dice to your quick favorites. And then when you go to your quick favorites in the future, maybe you're not gonna use that for your next project so you can just click and remove it from your favorites. So it's really, really speedy to be able to change this around so that you've got the tools that you need in 
any given scenario for any given project. As always, I hope that was helpful. Just some quick tips to try and make things more efficient. If you found this useful, please do like the video. It does help spread it around so that more people see it. And if you're not subscribed, do subscribe to the channel for more great content. And if you really want to support the channel, do feel free to check out the Patreon link. Anything's really appreciated. Have a great day, guys.